the scheme down, that's when you get your technique down. And if you're not doing that and you're not doing that correctly, then I don't know how you build confidence for Sunday. When you look in this locker room, do you feel like the reaction has been where it needs to be? Yeah, I think that everyone knows what we need to do. And out on the practice field, everyone's trying their best to do that. And, you know, it's just little things that are holding us back. So, you know, me, the line, receivers, whoever it is, you know, we all need to step up our game to help this team um, get to where they need to be. What's the communication the been like to try to get the run game going between the line and getting that push up front? Um, it's been really good this week, you know, just like meeting more, just trying to put more into it. You know, sometimes some things happen out there that you don't really plan for and you have to be able to adjust on the fly. And so that's what we're preparing for because it's been three weeks now and, you know, we're not where we need to be and Josh, we're not putting Josh in the right situation to get to where he wants to be. And so as offensive line, you have to take that upon yourself to, you know, keep working harder and put more work in in order to get him where he wants to be and where we want to be also. Everybody in the quarterback room is new this year. You've been here now for a couple of seasons. How much different is it going from Jimmy to Brian to Aiden? Um, I think that they all do a good job of mimicking each other. You know, Hoy, obviously every QB is going to be different, but when it comes to the system, you know, all three of them are doing the same thing. So there's not really a drop off when it comes to communication and when it comes to getting us in the right situation in the right front and blocking the right people. When you're dealing with a situation kind of like that, you know, with the possible new quarterback coming in, is the communication kind of ramped up a bit throughout the week? Right yeah, now? I think that you have to do a better job as offensive lineman to help the guy coming in. You know, if it's Hoy, then Hoy has been in there for three weeks, so we need to do a better job of helping him. Uh, feel comfortable in there if it's Aiden and just helping him feel comfortable too because he's a rookie. So as an offensive line, you have to take it on yourself because we're a vet, veteran group. So we have to take it on ourselves to, you know, help them out and put them in the best situation. What, what do you expect in atmosphere wise? When you guys go to SoFi, you always have so many Raider fans that kind of take over the stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as a player, what is it like being down the road and seeing that? Yeah, it's dope. Either way, I'm prepared for silent count. You know, I, I think. We didn't do a good enough job last week of preparing for silent count because I heard that the Raiders fans travel really well. Uh, I'm sorry, Steelers fans travel really well. And so, you know, I'm expecting to go silent count. And if it gets to the point in the game where we can use cadence, then we can use cadence. Thank you, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. How was your time there? Did you enjoy it there? How was it playing with the Raiders? Love it there. Love it there. Justin, a uh, great guy, great quarterback. Um, off to a hell of a start this year. Uh, doing what they paid him to do. What makes him special? He can make all the throws. Smart kid. Um, their offense is very quarterback friendly. They throw the ball around a lot. He got guys to throw the ball to, so uh, you know they're putting up numbers this year. Being able to play against your former team is that any spe anything special for you? Now being with the Raiders? No, that's another game. Uh, you go out there every Sunday to try to put your best foot forward, try to get a win. Uh, and that's what I plan on doing on Sunday. SoFi Stadium. How was it playing for the Chargers with the Raider fans invading you guys? Them now that you're with the Raiders. Uh, you don't really don't try to pay too much attention to the crowd when you're playing. You kind of locked in on the play or whatever your job is on the assignment. Um, it'll be both fans, you know, fans from both sides there. Uh, usually the team that's winning is the fans that's louder. So that's how I go. So far into the season, what are you, some things you feel like you've done good just in terms of the offensive flow and also on special teams? Uh, trying to make the most of the opportunities that um, I'm provided. Uh, special teams, I think we're really close uh, to making some plays here. We just got to put some things together. You're getting uh, like more comfortable every game? <laughs> definitely. I'm definitely getting more comfortable every game. Or, you know, the more reps I take, the more practices I do, yeah, I get more and more comfortable each and every day. I was noticing the, uh, the Max Crosby socks before the, the pregame of the last one. What kind of went into that and just your relationship with him? Where, where was that stand? Really, you know, I went into the, the sock drawer and I was like, you know, I don't want to wear some white socks. And I saw the Max socks in there that I got from the rookie premiere. I put them on for game day. And, you know, Max has been coaching me up, you know, helping me develop in my game, uh, you know, just helping me grow every uh, every every day. You know, it's just just like a big bro, you know, inside the building. You know, and he was referencing how you know so many guys in this league have so much talent, but that he you know he wants you to fulfill his potential or your potential rather. Uh, how much does that mean, and just how hands-on he is with you and what he sees in you? Really, you know, that, that means a lot from you know one of the best pass rushers in, in the game. Uh, you know, wanting me to to get with, to where you know where my potential is, is it means a lot. You know, so that motivates me every day to come to work and you know give it my all for not only me but for my teammates. Does it inspire you just in terms of his motor that doesn't stop? Do you see that and you're like, man, that's what goes into every single play and trying to be successful in this league? Yeah, you know, you know, I see him go hard each and every day, you know, in the film room, uh, 
when he's eating, <laughs> when he's on the practice field, just each and every day, you know, I try to, I try to, you know, motivate myself to do what he does. So you think he's trying to win eating contests in the lunchroom? <laughs> uh, you know, he's just, he's just so dialed in on his, his eating habits and everything he does, and you know, that motivates me to do, do the same. Everybody only sees, you know, what happens on Sundays, right? So they don't see the work that's going on. But how much did not having that off season kind of impact you, trying to get to where you want to be? I mean, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't use it as an excuse, you know. Uh, but I feel like you you grow you grow with preparation and practice, uh, you know. So that's why I come and go hard every day, and you know, get the best each and every day. And you know, I don't care what other people say. Uh, it matters what my teammates say, and you know, what the organization says. From your first practice that you were actually able to do until now, where do you think you've made the biggest stride? Just really uh, slowing the game down, you know, uh, and be able to play play different blocks and. You know, just develop my pressure habits and uh, really just really just focusing on that get off uh, to put stress onto offensive tackles and you know affect the quarterback. You have, you have the celebration plan for your first sack? Nah, it's just it's just gonna be what's in the what's in the bag. It's just gonna come out. Do, do you kind of feel a difference now that there's a month of games and just in terms of the game slowing down? Is there kind of truth to that? Just simply now the being a month then? Definitely. You know, you see you see a lot of different blocks. You know, you get to get to get comfortable in you know different stances and different rush moves and you know now it's just building building the consistency so that it just happens when you know from habit I know you, you mentioned the get off there's a lot of outside noise going on I mean you tune that stuff out do you hear it do you do you process it and kind of make a mental check and, you know it? you know first game get off was get off was pretty bad but you know after that I start you know focus on that every time I you know line up and it's I see improvement each and every day that I watch film are you, are you somebody that can tune that stuff out though? Like just don't don't listen to people. Like it's it's better for your mental health probably than not listen to. It. Really, really, I'm not on social media really. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a matter of what the coaches say and you know what my teammates say. Cool. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. If you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. I'm sorry, I got to start you out with what do you think about that Notre Dame finish? Yeah. <laughs> people were asking me about it yesterday. It was it was a hard hard thing to answer. Uh, but, you know, obviously a little disappointed. I love Notre Dame. Um, I love my time there. I love the coaches there. I love everything about it. So uh, that's a big game that I think we needed to win. And, uh, you know, they fought pretty hard. And, and you know, I wasn't there for it. Um, don't know exactly what happened. But they fought hard, and they almost came out with the W. Now that you're kind of getting almost like a, you know, a month into your career here, do you kind of feel the week-to-week -week transitions of, you know, the game maybe slowing down or whatever just through your eyes? What do you kind of sense of A hundred percent. The adjustments definitely coming easier. Uh, the offense is coming easier, things like that. Um, over time, that's kind of what happens um, to the adjustment into the NFL. You know, it's not a, a quick adjustment. It doesn't happen in a week or two weeks or a day or two. Um, so I'm just going to stay as positive as I can and kind of keep rolling and take every day, day by day. Obviously, there's a lot of different environments when it comes to college, but you know, going to LA this week and kind of kind of having it be a home game, is there been anything that the guys have been telling you about? It's a weird, you know, interesting sort of yeah. environment when it comes yeah. to this week. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. You know, we had our first home game this past weekend. We had good fans there, and uh, I'm excited to kind of get our fans going, get us rowdy, and, and be on our side on Sunday. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You've obviously been in this position before, sure. where you have to. You know, obviously, you prepare for as to be the starter, regardless. But yeah. does it get heightened a little bit with the situation as it is right now? Uh, I mean, just maybe you get a few more reps than usual. Um, but you know, it's just a situation that you know comes with the territory, right? You know, so always be ready to play, and whatever you know pans out on Sunday, that's what happens. You've obviously, like I said, been in this situation before. Is there a way to wire yourself so that you know to be ready for whatever the situation may be, coming in, in the middle of the game, sure, starting the game? I mean, sometimes it's easier to know when you're starting because you know that you're going out there like obviously the first week of the season when Jimmy comes out on the first drive and that's the last thing on your mind but right. it's part of the job so um, look I've been a starter I've been a backup you know the mentality is always prepare to play and then go out and execute if, you're, if your name's called so what's the mentality this week same as it always is yeah. you know prepare prepare to play prepare to uh, you know help the team as, as best I can and and whatever that takes and then go out on Sunday and you know win a game so um, like you said, I've been in pretty much every scenario there is, so there's nothing that I've never really come across before. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, you come in every day to, you know, try to work on the things you feel like you need to work on the most. And, um, you know, that's definitely a, a big emphasis right now. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I thought we had a good week of practice last week, and, you know, it didn't. And it turned out how, how we wanted it to. So I guess we'll just see when the game comes. When you don't know uh, what quarterback would be starting on Sunday, does that impact you or how does that impact you at all? 
No, I don't really impact me as much. I mean, I think that's more of a receiver thing. But for me, it, and it, ain't, it ain't that big of a, you know, a deal for me. But obviously, you know, you want to go in the game with, with, with your guy. And um, however it play out, I mean, I think we, we have quarterbacks that, you know, they practice hard and they'll be ready. Josh, you guys did find something in that fourth quarter uh, with the run game. Uh, is that something that you feel can carry over um, with whatever it was that you guys found? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they gave a lot of guys, uh, you know, some, uh, I guess, motivation, a little bit of hope, you know. Uh, but obviously, you know, I don't, I don't think it's that it's, it's a hard thing of, uh, to fix. I think it's just something that we got to want to do, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, eventually it's going to get going. Something about uh, playing down in SoFi when you know Raider Nation is going to be there uh, uh, that, that gives a little extra buzz for a road game? I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, with uh, it being in L.A., uh, you know, it's a big uh, fan base out there. But really, man, I'll just be ready to get in there, get off that turf, <laughs> get in there, play hard, get off that turf, man, and, you know, get back get back to home. So we'll see how I go. Uh, it's been a big week for just from, like, a leadership standpoint, you know, between, you know, Devontae kind of calling out some of the guys and wanting to get things going. As one of the captains of this team, you know, where do you think it stands leadership-wise this week and what's it been like? Uh, I mean, I, I definitely agree with, agree with you know, with Tay and, uh, you know, the things that he said and the remarks he said. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a way that a lot of people feel around here, um, you know, just wanting to get the best out of, you know, each individual uh, every single day, you know, I mean, wanting the best for, you know, not only the team, but, you know, for every individual peer that we have here. So, man, uh, I definitely understand his frustration. I think that, you know, this week, um, the captain's definitely been a lot more uh, vocal. vocal, And then not only that, uh, you know, just a little more stern, too, you know, just trying to make sure everything go how we want it to go, um, especially while it's early and, you know, it's still time to, to fix things. Thanks, Josh. For sure. And we've been getting better um, every single day. Uh, we go out there and we've been intentional about our work. So we just gotta do what we do at our best. You know, when we're at our best, we we, we play pretty damn well. And um, we just gotta stick together and trust trust the work we put in. And, you know, during the week. You're always preaching one percent better every day. Yep. How does it get better? Right now, just like again, just kind of get some turnovers and things going. I guess. Yeah, you know, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, just literally get better every single day. Um, every day you show up, you got to be intentional about um, where you want to go and what you got to improve on. Uh, so that starts with me and, you know, it's, every, it's everybody up front and this whole defense. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of room to grow. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited and you know, ready for these guys to keep getting better. Moving all over the place on the line, how did that feel? And do you feel that that's the best course of action for you guys to be able to be successful on that? Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've been working it during camp, um, moving all around, and uh, I enjoy it. You know, I feel like I can win uh, regardless of where I'm at on the, on the line of scrimmage. So, uh, for me, you know, I just want to give our team the best chance to win. So, that's, that's what I try to do. Against a guy like Herbert, you know, what are the things that kind of make him tough to play against? Yeah, you know, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Dude uh, can make all the throws. He's athletic, young, uh, hungry player. So, uh, I love competing against him. Um, you know, I got a lot of respect for him, but uh, I definitely look forward to getting after him. Now as a locker room leader, you know, when you have a young guy like Tyree who first three games, what's the best advice you can give him so far just kind of going forward? Um, you know, we talked about it today. You know, for him, it's just about being intentional with every single rep. You know, every you got to do it a million times right in practice to get it right once in a game. And you don't realize that when you're coming from college to the NFL. You know, everybody's good in the NFL. Everyone's talented. Everyone's big, fast, strong. Um, but it's the guys that, that do it at the highest level or the guys that do the – the, the ordinary stuff, extraordinary every single day. So um, you got to be consistent. You got to continue to show up and, and look for room to you know to improve every single day. How long did it take you back in '19 to figure that out? The doing it a million times in practice, do it once in the, in the game. Yeah, it took honestly um, going into my third year. That's when it really changed for me. Uh, I bought into you know Coach Marinelli and what he was preaching, and uh, changed my whole career. You know, just from everything. Every detail matters. That's not just practicing. That's from sleep to nutrition to recovery to every single detail from film to all that. So, yeah, for me, I, that's why I talk to Tyree and all these young guys. It's like you can have all the damn talent in the world. There's a lot of talented guys. You know, <laughs> it's the NFL. There's I don't, I don't know how many, 1,500 guys in the league, billions of people on the planet. So uh, it's a very small group of people. Um, we're all talented, but the guys that are elite, that do it at a high level every single, every single year, are all the guys that put in the most work, that pay most attention to the small things, and do those at an elite level. Did you 
see the, uh, the socks that Tyree had with your face? And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I saw it in pregame. I was thrown off. He's like, "Yeah, I'm wearing your socks today." It's like a big kid, but yeah, it was uh, it was cool. For sure. What is your relationship just with him? Like, I know you're talking about the teaching tools, but just from a you know, simply personal stuff. Yeah, no, he's a good kid. Um, for me, at the end of the day, um, I want him to fulfill his potential. You know, for him, he's got to figure that out where, where he wants to go and what he wants to do as a player. Um, and that's every single day you show up. You know, it's all about action in the league. Talk about what you want to do, but you know, for for guys in the league, you got to show up and, and, and produce, and you got to do it on a daily basis. And that's in every aspect, from film to weight room to everything. So, yeah, you know, I feel like he's going the right direction, um, but. You know, for me, I'm staying on him constantly, and you know, our our relationship's grown a lot.